Yeah, first, um, I would just like to say, um, you know, the Virginia family lost a, a great player and a member, member of our program, uh, Chris Williams, who passed away. I called him Big Smooth. I had never met him, but I just want to send out our heartfelt prayers, thoughts uh, to his family and uh, thankful again for what he did for the program when he was here. And I just wanted to, to honor him and, and his name and his legacy at this time. Uh, and then as far as the game, um, that was a, a scrambled game. You know, we, I teased our guys. I'm glad we worked on our five guard lineup all week in practice. We knew we were going to have to play four guards. And we did talk about it as a staff. And Coach Soderberg, who had the scout, our last practice said, do you want to get a few reps with five guards? I was like, no, I don't think so. Uh, but we had to. And then these guys came up and made some big plays. Good defense by Devin, Marielle. Of course, London, they made some plays. Uh, I'm sorry, I said, I said Darius. I'm, my mind is, is rushing. But Darius made some big plays slashing. Marielle did. We had to spread the floor. And I uh, see that's a good senior point yeah. guard. He's, he's, he's given assist to his coach. Um, and they're a hard team to play against. So again, you'll have a lot of questions. But uh, that's March Madness. That's what it is. And the way we were down and fought back, we, we kept steady. Okay, if you'd raise your hand with a question, we'll get one on the front row here, and then we'll come up to the front row on this side. If you could address your question to who you would like to answer, please. Uh, Doug Daddy from the Run-Up Times. Tony, when London went out there with four or five minutes left, and did, what did you think? Did you think he might have been hurt worse than he was? And uh, what did you tell him when he went back he in? He fakes it a lot, so I knew he'd be fine. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't know. I was real worried because he is – He's one of our toughest guys, uh, and I just, I was worried. I, I didn't know if it was his shoulder, uh, his elbow, whatever. And, um, you know, it, sometimes you get a stinger, and, you know, I, I don't know how much he wants to talk about it. I'm still not sure. But, yeah, I was concerned for him first. Like, I was concerned for Isaiah. Um, and I said, all right, we've got we've to gotta get this thing going without him. And then when, when Ethan or someone said London's okay, it was obviously uh, significant for the victory. Okay, the front row on this side. Uh, London, if you could start by revealing whatever you will about what happened, how much pain you were in, and then shortly after coming back in, I mean, you mm. went hard to the basket for three really big baskets. How physically tough was that for uh, you to do? It was, uh, I guess, the only thing I could call it was a stinger, kind of just, I couldn't feel my arm for that, that period of time, and so I was trying to get the feeling back into my arm, uh, didn't, wasn't really working, so I had to come out. Um, and then just, uh, I guess, like a minute or so later, I could start to get more feeling. And I told Coach Ben I was fine. So um, obviously, it, I wish it didn't happen. But um, I, I didn't want to come in and just be thinking about my arm. I just wanted to, to get the win. I had to do whatever I could. So The front row on our right, and then we'll come back to the left. Uh, Mary Al, can you just talk about your game today? You uh, had a good first half and then uh, continued into the second. Um, I just wanted to provide energy. Um, when we off the slow start, I just felt like um, I just personally I just didn't want to go out like that, and I just knew that um, my teammates didn't either. So I just wanted to come out and provide what I could on both ends, and um, and just bring a spark. Okay, front row on our left, and then we're going to go in the back. Go ahead, your answer, Packer Daily Progress. Tony, you've talked about playing the ACC this year, how it kind of makes you adjusted to all different kinds of styles. That even mattered today because of the things you had to do? There's not a team in the ACC that's like that. I mean, I think Virginia Tech is, is really hard to guard, and Notre Dame, how they spread you out with um, their guys. There's certain things. But um, it's just, yeah, they're, they're quick, they're small, they have unconventional shots. And Kevin does a great job. I mean, he's built a really good program in his three years there. But that was unique to what uh, we have seen all year uh, in terms of that. So again, it was just sort of adjusting. And I thought, Jack, you know, we, we were switching every ball screen, and then Jack came in in the second half, and we said, no, nope, we need to have another adjustment. And I thought Jack did a good job defensively, and these guys knew they had to fight defensively to handle all their spread ball screens. Back of the room on our right. Kurt Permister from TSN in Canada. Uh, question for Coach. Uh, Mariel seemed to give you guys a bit of a spark in the first half there to help you guys get going. Can you uh, talk a little bit about how for we got sure. you guys going? Well, he, um, you know, it was a game. We were down, I think, 11 to 23, and we were having trouble, and we just said we got a space and play. Come up with a ball screen, slip the ball screen, space and play, attack, move it. If we have something in transition, uh, we had to get back into the game, try to take good shots, but you needed to be aggressive. And they did a good job defensively for a while, but um, we did it. And then London, he always he has such a good mind, came up with a real good suggestion in the, in the halftime, and we got a quick couple good shots off that. But space and play was it. And, and Marielle 
that we went five guards and that guy had a hard time guarding him and he's he's a crafty scorer he can create if you've watched us over the years he can manufacture his own shot which was we needed it all front row on our left Mike Savetis, Richard Times Dispatch, Tony in London, down 15 there, halfway through the first half. Any panic set in? What was the mindset with you guys? I mean, it looked like you know they couldn't they couldn't miss, and you guys couldn't hit. I mean, I'll go. Uh, uh, like I, I think I said it in the last press conference, they're going to have to make tough shots for 40 minutes, and um, basketball is a game of runs, obviously. And they came out hot, um, and they had their run. We had ours, and then it was just back and forth in the second half, and. Uh, I think we had our, the last run, and so um, obviously we knew at the beginning that they were they were going to make some tough shots. Uh, the point guard made some some big shots with a hand in his face. Um, everybody uh, seemed to have made shots, so um, <laughs> I kind of just knew that uh, hopefully that they were going to start missing and we were going to start making them, and, and it happened. Standing up in the back of the room, on our right, uh, Ryan Fagan with Sporting News. Uh, Darius and then coach if you can answer this too but it was clear for all three of you guards how important it was to attack the rim and all three of you guys did that consistently through the game can you just talk about how important that was to the win today uh, it was big um we all have we have a team full of players who can attack and get to the rim and make plays and we, we really couldn't run our offense that we usually run so we just spread it out and just decided to attack okay we yeah. have oh, oh sorry go ahead coach. is that enough for you okay <laughs> he'd, he'd like you to oh, answer oh, too yeah yeah, no, they did a good job, as we said. They, they, uh, we were down, and we, um, we just knew we got to get aggressive, and um, they all three did, Evan did. He, you know, at times, we had a switch because they were starting to get easy buckets the way we were playing the ball screen, so we said, all right, let's go five guards. And then they had to hit tougher shots for the most part, but that was to our advantage when we had these guys. And we don't have a five-guard offense we work on because we haven't done it, but like we said, it was – you're going to have to touch the paint, either kick it or make plays. And even in some transition um, press break stuff, I thought we had to get some points on the board. Front row on our left again. Cody Taylor, Basketball Insiders. Coach, when, when you look at London and his 19 points there in the second half, how big was that for, for your team to kind of just hold that lead as you guys were trying to put yeah. it away? Well, London knows how I feel about him, how much I trust his game and, and all we've been through. And um, his big time performance in a big stage something I've grown fond of watching him do over the years. And um, it's just one game. We get to the next one. But uh, I liked what I saw, and I was proud of him. Back of the room on our right, Kerper, Mr. from TSN again. Uh, Marielle, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe today 23 points is a career high for you. Um, anything specific that kind of got you going like you did today? Was it the stage? Was it just one of those days? No, just playing for playing for my guys right here and uh, the coaching staff and just my teammates. Um, we've we've come so close over the years and um, uh, just the chemistry is just through the roof now. So just trying to play for these guys and just not just be in the moment, just play as free as possible. Front row on our left, uh, Tony. Kind of a, a behind the scenes thing. How do you handle the tournament? Do you have two assistants scouting the prospective mm -hmm. opponents? Yeah, I think. Will you stay here and, and watch this game personally, or how do you how do you work this part? Yeah, we it just depends. But um, we always we had two. Um, someone takes. Florida and someone takes ETSU and they're working on them and then we'll we'll watch I'll stay for some of it or all of it and just you get to work it's pretty standard operation I think for for how it goes you get these guys back and rest it and um, have a good prep day tomorrow and then come ready to play because uh, you know you know if you're not successful at your last game and you don't want to leave a stone unturned but we've been through some um, Saturday Monday games in the ACC so we understand what that middle day is about and we'll try to have a good plan and, and get after it but yep we'll, we've got both teams scouted and now we'll, this will be an important scout today. We have time for two more questions we're going to go in the middle here on our left and then on the front row. Uh, Coach Day Thompson Florida National News how happy were you with the team getting to the free throw line 21 times in the second half? Yeah we had to like these guys said we had to attack um, and we had to draw fouls we got them in the bonus with about they were, we were in the bonus, I'm sorry, with 11, 12 minutes. So that was important. Um, and we needed to, because we were spreading them out, attack, and then, you know, obviously we wanted to capitalize on a few of them, but we made just enough and we saved some for the next game. So we'll take it. <laughs> Front row. Coach uh, Isaiah, what, how's his status and is he going to Yeah, he, he gave us um, everything he had. <laughs> he, he's, he's a warrior. That, that guy, I love him. I told you what our plan was before. Um, he had five minutes, and you know, sometimes you get in there and you can't get a stop. And he pushed so hard, and he's just, he's not, 
he hasn't filled his tank up enough from this virus and this sickness. And, um, you know, we'll just we'll take it a day at a time. But, but then during the game, he, I think it was when we made tied or got up, he jumped up and got excited. And then he had, a, I don't know if it was a sinking spell or what, he was just not right. And I feel for him. But I, I love, I told him, I put my arm around him and just said, I'll never forget your courage and your heart to try and to continue to try because we needed him when he was sick to get us into this tournament. And he did that at NC State, North Carolina, Pitt, and um, he's a special one that way too. Game time, decision. Uh, we, I, we'll just see how he is today and all that. I, I, I'm not counting on him because of where he's at, but that'll be up to the doctors. Thanks, Tom.